Space facts are always interesting to learn. As time goes by, technological advancements have seen us learn more facts about space in the past century than in all time before that. We've literally searched the universe for the most amazing space facts, including facts about the planets in our solar system, moons, the Milky Way, and beyond. Without further ado, let's launch right into these crazy facts about space. Mercury and Venus are the only two planets in our solar system that have no moons. Mercury and Venus are the only two planets in our solar system that do not have any natural satellites or moons. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, and its proximity to the Sun is a likely reason it doesn't have any moons. The Sun's strong gravitational influence would make it difficult for Mercury to capture and retain a moon. Venus also lacks moons, and while the exact reason isn't definitively known, several theories have been proposed. One theory suggests that any moons Venus might have had were destabilized and eventually lost due to gravitational interactions with the Sun. Another theory is that Venus's relatively slow rotation and retrograde rotation could have influenced its ability to capture moons. All the other planets in our solar system, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, have at least one moon, with Jupiter and Saturn having the most, boasting dozens of moons each. What is the hottest planet in our solar system? Comment before moving on to the next point. If a star passes too close to a black hole, it can be torn apart. When a star passes too close to a black hole, it can be subjected to intense tidal forces that can tear it apart in a process known as a tidal disruption event, TDE. In a tidal disruption event, the gravitational pull of the black hole exerts differential forces on the star. The side of the star closer to the black hole experiences a stronger gravitational pull than the side farther away. These differential forces, or tidal forces, can stretch and eventually rip the star apart. The material from the disrupted star forms an accretion disk around the black hole. As this material spirals inwards and falls into the black hole, it heats up and emits a significant amount of radiation, which can be observed across various wavelengths, including X-rays, ultraviolet, and optical light. This emission can be detected by astronomers, providing evidence of the tidal disruption event. Tidal disruption events are relatively rare, but provide valuable insights into the behavior of black holes and the properties of the stars they disrupt. They also help astronomers study the dynamics of galaxies and the supermassive black holes that often reside at their centers. The hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. Despite Mercury being the closest planet to the Sun, Venus holds the title of the hottest planet in our solar system. This is due to its thick atmosphere, which is composed primarily of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. These components create a strong greenhouse effect, trapping heat and causing surface temperatures to soar. The average surface temperature on Venus is around 467 degrees Celsius, 872 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than Mercury's surface, despite Mercury being closer to the Sun. The dense atmosphere of Venus acts like a blanket, maintaining high temperatures across the entire planet, including its night side and polar regions. Our solar system is 4.57 billion years old. The solar system is estimated to be about 4.57 billion years old. This age is derived from radiometric age dating of meteorite material and is supported by ages obtained from the oldest known terrestrial and lunar samples. This period marks the time when the solar nebula, a cloud of gas and dust, began to collapse, eventually forming the Sun and the rest of the solar system, including the planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. Enceladus, one of Saturn's smaller moons, reflects 90% of the Sun's light. Enceladus, one of Saturn's smaller moons, has a very high albedo, reflecting about 90% of the sunlight that hits its surface. This makes it one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system. The high reflectivity of Enceladus is due to its surface being covered with fresh, clean ice. This ice is continually replenished by geysers that spew water vapor and ice particles from the moon's subsurface ocean through cracks in its icy crust. These geysers were discovered by the Cassini spacecraft and provide evidence of the active geology on Enceladus. The constant resurfacing by these geysers ensures that Enceladus remains highly reflective. Which planet in our solar system has the most moons? There are many things you don't know. Stay with us, ahead of facts that will surprise you. Footprints left on the moon won't disappear as there is no wind. Yes, that's correct. 
Footprints left on the moon are likely to remain for a very long time because there is no atmosphere on the moon and therefore no wind or weather to erode them. The lack of water and atmospheric processes means that there is no natural mechanism to alter or erase the footprints left by astronauts during the Apollo missions. However, these footprints could eventually be affected by other factors such as micrometeorite impacts, which can gradually wear down the surface over long periods of time. Despite this, the footprints are expected to last for millions of years. But wait a minute. If there's no wind to blow them away, then why is the flag blowing? Well, it actually wasn't blowing. That rippling you see is because of a stubborn telescopic horizontal rod that the astronauts were struggling to remove from the flag's upper hem. Still unsure whether we've walked on the moon? There are 79 known moons orbiting Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet in our solar system with the most moons, and it also has the largest moon in our solar system. That moon is called Ganymede and is 3,270 miles, 5,270 kilometers in diameter. That's bigger than Mercury, and it is visible with just a pair of binoculars. The Martian day is 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 35 seconds long. A Martian day, known as a Sol, is approximately 24 hours, 39 minutes, and 45,244 seconds long. This is slightly longer than a day on Earth. The difference in length is due to Mars's slightly longer rotation period compared to Earth's. This longer day on Mars can have implications for scheduling activities for future human missions to the planet, as astronauts would need to adjust to the Martian day-night cycle. NASA's Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, LCROSS, found evidence of water on the Earth's moon. NASA's Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, LCROSS mission, found evidence of water on the moon. The LCROSS mission, launched in 2009, aimed to confirm the presence of water ice in a permanently shadowed crater near the moon's south pole. During the mission, the LCROSS spacecraft sent a spent rocket stage crashing into the Cabeus crater, creating a plume of debris. The satellite and a trailing shepherding spacecraft analyzed the plume, detecting signatures of water vapor and ice. This discovery confirmed that water, in the form of ice, exists in significant quantities on the Moon, particularly in the permanently shadowed regions where temperatures are extremely cold. This finding has important implications for future lunar exploration and the potential for using lunar resources to support human activities on the Moon. The Sun makes a full rotation once every 25-35 days. The Sun does indeed rotate, but not as a solid body. Instead, it exhibits differential rotation, meaning different parts of the sun rotate at different rates. At the equator, the sun completes one full rotation approximately every 25 days. Near the poles, the rotation period extends to about 35 days. This variation in rotational speed is due to the sun being composed of plasma rather than a solid material, allowing different latitudes to rotate at different speeds. The highest mountain discovered is the Olympus Mons, which is located on Mars. Olympus Mons, located on Mars, is the highest known mountain and volcano in the solar system. Olympus Mons stands about 22 kilometers, 13.6 miles high, which is nearly three times the height of Mount Everest, Earth's tallest mountain above sea level. It has a diameter of approximately 600 kilometers, 373 miles, and is surrounded by a cliff that is up to 6 kilometers, 3.7 miles high. Olympus Mons is a shield volcano, similar to the volcanoes that make up the Hawaiian Islands. Its massive size is due to the low surface gravity on Mars and the lack of tectonic plate movement. Unlike Earth, where tectonic plates move and disperse volcanic activity, Mars's crust remains stationary over hot spots, allowing Olympus Mons to grow larger over time. The Whirlpool Galaxy, M51, was the first celestial object identified as being spiral. The Whirlpool Galaxy, also known as M51 or NGC 5194, was the first celestial object identified as a spiral galaxy. This discovery was made by the astronomer William Parsons, the third Earl of Ross, in 1845. Using his large telescope, the Leviathan of Parsonstown, he was able to observe and sketch the spiral structure of the galaxy, which was a groundbreaking observation at the time.
The Whirlpool Galaxy is located approximately 23 million light-years away from Earth in the constellation Canis Venatici. Its distinctive spiral structure, which includes prominent arms filled with stars, gas, and dust, has made it a subject of extensive study and one of the most iconic images in astronomy. The interaction with its companion galaxy, NGC 5195, has also provided valuable insights into galactic dynamics and evolution. A light year is the distance covered by light in a single year. A light year is a unit of distance used in astronomy to measure vast distances in space. It is defined as the distance that light travels in a vacuum in one year. Since light travels at a speed of approximately 299,192 kilometers per second, about 186,282 miles per second, a light year equals about 9.46 trillion kilometers, about 5.88 trillion miles. This measurement helps astronomers convey the immense scales of space and the distances between celestial objects. The Milky Way galaxy is 105,700 light years wide. The Milky Way galaxy is estimated to be about 100,000 to 120,000 light years in diameter, therefore saying it is 105,700 light years wide falls within this range and is a reasonable estimate. The exact size of the Milky Way is challenging to determine due to our position within the galaxy and the vast distances involved. The galaxy contains hundreds of billions of stars, including our Sun, and its spiral structure consists of a central bulge, four main spiral arms, and several smaller arms and spurs. The Sun weighs about 330,000 times more than Earth. The Sun's mass is approximately 330,000 times that of Earth. Specifically, the Sun has a mass of about 1.989 x 10 to 30 kilograms, whereas Earth has a mass of about 5.972 x 10 to 24 kilograms. This immense mass accounts for about 99.86% of the total mass of the entire solar system, making the Sun the dominant gravitational force that governs the orbits of the planets and other objects within the system. Thank you for watching the video about interesting space facts that'll blow your mind. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. See you next time.